Okay, three, two, one. We wanted to kind of share our experience with the hiker after, I don't know, it's been around six months and talk about why it's for us probably the perfect fit. Well, let's go over our camping history. <laughs> so our primary camping, uh, you know, obviously everyone starts with a tent at some point. And then, uh, so we previously lived in Ohio and did uh, tent camping to start there. And then we got a Honda Pilot. And so it worked out really well that the seats folded nearly flat and we used an air mattress and the air mattress worked really well for quite a while. Until um, we got dogs. <laughs> yeah, until we got dogs. So yeah, we moved out to Arizona, and at first we didn't have any idea about dispersed camping or um, just how much public land there is out here. And so right away, once we started to look up where to camp, uh, we were used to camping in areas in the past where um, we would fish, you know, that was one of our big things was try to find a lakeside camping and that's not necessarily a big thing out here. Water yeah, you can't Arizona. camp really close to water here. You know, you could camp uh, a short hike away, um, but that was kind of a learning thing for us was figuring out that that wasn't going to be the primary focus anymore. Uh, I apologize for the smoke if it is distracting. It is definitely worse for me than it is for you. <laughs> yeah, so once we learned about all the public lands, we knew, you know, for sure we would be camping a ton. You know, we kept doing the same thing. We uh, camped with the air mattress in the Honda. Uh, my uncle, who lives in California, we were going to visit him and stay at his house at Lake Tahoe, and he was storing a 1989 Coleman Newman pop-up and he offered to sell it to us for a really inexpensive price and so we took him up on it right away and really had a great time in that camper okay okay yeah we had to move the smoke was getting too bad, too bad. for us and in front of the camera we okay. just wanted solid walls yeah and so less to set up we didn't want to have to unhook from the car every time been like you know 30 minutes popping everything out getting everything going it was a lot yeah yeah it, it was time consuming kind of a pain and you know our style of travel uh, works really well with the ability to move easily and so towards the end of the pop-up we went back to the car camping inside the car and uh, got one of the Millard trifold mattresses. So we were already kind of thinking about hiker trailer because, you know, we had watched different videos. Well, and one of the other reasons we really wanted a hiker is because like we were very limited where we could go with the pop-up. Yeah. Um, yeah. The pop-up had little donut tires and yeah. it, it was actually lifted. The person who owned it prior to my uncle flipped the axle. And so it, it was really high off the ground, but the little donut tires just did not do well going over stuff. It would bounce two feet in the air if you hit a bump too fast. It was uh, just not great for the uh, off-road aspect. See, so yeah, at that point we decided we would move back to camping in the car. It worked but like the trifold mattress in an SUV folded up still takes half of the entirety of the back and then with you know our I think we have a 65 quart uh, arctic cooler between those two things alone pretty much the whole back was used up and the dogs had like a corner yeah a teeny tiny corner and so they were uncomfortable and Not to mention, when we slept at night, I know it's not much bigger than what the hiker is now, like the, the mattress space. Yeah, yeah. But it just, because of all the indentations of like the wheels and stuff in the car, we were all like... Yeah, everyone was just 
intertwined. Yeah. <laughs> Not easy with... It, I think it worked, would it, work really well for just two people. Yeah, uh, but maybe, two people and two dogs. Yeah, if, uh, maybe if we only had one dog, yeah, I don't know. Could have worked just... okay. But again, we were having issues with the amount of time it took to set up. We'd have to... You know, pull Unload. everything yeah. out, set the bed up, and then once the bed was in, the way that uh, the Xterra, you can take the seats out and then put, there's these action packer bins and they fit perfectly uh, to extend the bed to be a full length queen. Um, but you have to slide the seats, the front seats all the way forward. And mm -hmm. so then you can't just pop in and drive anymore. It's, you know, it's a full setup and take down to travel. And so, yeah, that was what really pushed us towards the hiker trailer. And uh, I will say my last straw was one of the last car camping trips we did. It had rained. And because we have to take everything out of the car, my pillow <laughs> was on top <laughs> of the car. Well, yeah, we, we were using a rooftop bag to yeah. carry all of our bedding. And, and it was not waterproof yeah. and it was a, like a memory foam pillow <clears throat> and so it, just it was a like sponge, a sponge. <laughs> and i did not have a pillow for a while till it dried out it was like probably a week for that thing to dry out apologies for the lighting the sun keeps going in and out of clouds, clouds yeah. that led us to getting the hiker yeah. and uh and also in preparation for the hiker, we bought the awning because we knew eventually yeah. we'd want it. Yeah, we got the uh, 270 awning ahead of time uh, just because we were camping in the car and it worked really well to uh, be a surround around the SUV for our camp trips. And, uh, you know, at that point we already knew for sure we were getting a hiker. It was just kind of about sorting the financial side out. Mm -hmm. We could not be happier with getting the trailer. It fits everything you need and yeah. it tear down setup is all just way smoother. Mm -hmm. There are, you know, when you do use the awning that adds some time, but depending on what you need, if it's gonna storm, we've got to put all the guy lines down. That takes a substantial amount more time. But if it's, you know, beautiful weather, no wind or low wind and we can just put the two poles that are built in up. <laughs> she is getting attacked with love. <laughs> yeah, the awning is really the only thing. Uh, we keep our table. We, we use a full-sized, bigger, like bigger than table. the hiker table that comes off. But yeah, craft-style plastic table. And uh, so that works out really well for, you know, our stove and just fits a lot more. So that those are really the only major things that are kind of coming in and out consistently uh, otherwise you know and that's one of the other things we love about the hiker on the pop-up you know we had to carry everything outside of the pop-up for the most part there was some very small storage uh, to keep stuff but everything was really dirty so we couldn't keep like bedding or anything so being able to just leave the bed pretty much set up and uh, head out is great um, and one of the other things we love about the hiker is obviously it's solid walls, but we got the max fan and yeah, it just yeah, great airflow. That is by far a must have uh, upgrade when you're planning a, your hiker build is doing the max fan. Another thing we did, but I wish we did more of is the diamond plate. Um, moving aesthetically we really liked the half wall of diamond plate but we do almost all forest road camping and so the upper portion of the skin is getting really dented from rocks uh kicking up and hitting it so uh that would be something i would change is to go full wall on the, the diamond plate um, but other than that uh, we did a five by nine and then we did a 24 inch galley. And I think that that for us is, you know, a definitely it was a necessity. We fill the galley almost entirely every trip. And our battery system, we just had them 
install the electrical components we already had a deep cell um, marine grade battery um, for our needs i don't think that lithium is necessary so buying a hundred dollar battery at walmart you know that's going to run our fan is uh the way to go it it works really well and i can replace that battery 10 times the, the current battery is from 2018 and it still is totally working um you know it's getting towards the end of its life we definitely see that it's shorter uh, and then we did end up getting just a uh, inexpensive solar kit from Harbor Freight and that allows us to top off and so um, all we're doing is charging phones camera gear uh, running the, the yeah the lights and the max fan so pretty yeah. low draw and so it works out just fine for us uh, if you're you know doing an inverter and running AC appliances and that kind of thing you're may you know you may want to go the lithium route so screen doors mm -hmm. so screen doors are great we don't use them at night we like you know the whole point of the hiker was to have solid camper for you know security safety uh and just the enclosedness of yeah. having that style of trailer doors. yeah screen doors works great um for daytime naps that kind of thing it's just nice to have the open breeze coming through and uh and that way we don't have to run you know the max fan all day if you know someone's just wanting to take a nap or something so yeah that's kind of the details of the actual build of the trailer and then you know for us it works so well because less time consuming so it encourages us the ability to move if we want we also can drop the trailer you know that was one of the things we generally wanted to avoid um but it does work out in a lot of situations where you know we can get kind of the first couple of miles in on a forest road and then we'll usually grab like a side road that's a little bit extra rough that way it discourages you know having neighbors and then drop the trailer and go explore from there so Oh, another benefit that I think is great about the hiker trailers is that there's not a ton of installed appliances. And so there's really li uh, like very little that can go wrong with the trailer. I have a stove and it's just a standard camp stove and you just replace it if it ever goes bad. Um, Which shout out to hiker. The <laughs> stove, we won the giveaway, the photo contest giveaway and we got to yep the is. cook partner 22 inch um really nice stove so yeah. that has been awesome and we were definitely f feel honored to have won the grand prize for the contest and um the stove this is our first trip using it so we'll show a little bit off uh cooking later yeah so that's why we love our hiker so much and one of the things we were a little not worried about but um you know, we like to have friends or family join us on camping trips. And the one positive thing with the, the pop-up was, it, you know, it had two beds and then also a, a small bed that the table converted to. So we had room inside for, uh, I would say, four people comfortably, four adults and two dogs. <laughs> um, and so we were a little worried, like, okay, well, what do we do when we have people out to camp and they don't have something so for example my parents who live in Ohio they like to come visit and we like to take them on camping trips but it worked out perfectly last time since you know we still have the bed that's fitted for the car um, they were able to sleep in the car comfortably because they didn't have to worry about the dogs yeah and the hiker has enough space you know being essentially an enclosed trailer we were able to put both mattresses in cooler yeah. you know stack everything in perfectly to uh to to have four people and, and then i know some people do the rooftop tents um that's certainly something to consider but for um for us already having that mattress for the xterra it works out really well yes okie doke yeah so well yeah that's that's all we got on that <laughs> yeah it is uh 
it works perfectly for our needs and I am sure there are a lot of other people out there who it will work really well with. Mm -hmm.